Crystal. Hello, welcome back to Peace Storm, everybody. We're uh, approaching the end of Chapter 1 of Deltarune, but we're going to take a little detour before we go on to the boss. We have some unfinished business with another boss. Hell yeah. Let's unfinish some business. <laughs> you mean complete some business? Oh, is that what we're doing? <clears throat> I guess. Uh, okay, floor one. Oh, you're there. Well, I didn't know that. Oh god, run. Welcome, Welcome to the floor. We got fun and games. <laughs> We got everything you want as long as it's carpet. <laughs> <laughs> or lava. <laughs> oh god. I, I, I guess? Okay, yes, I believe it is... Maybe. Who's was? Oh, shit. Oh god, it's an actual team composition! Yeah, I'm just... Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Ow. <laughs> Bitch. Rod, that was great. Just, you barely lifted a finger and... Well, if we have to be friends. <laughs> well, shit, son. Why not? <laughs> yeah, I guess that makes sense. Okay. Spare and spare. Man. Yeehaw. It's great having a full team. Okay, so I believe it was Diamond Heart Club Spade. So. Yeah! You opened the treasure chest. Inside was broken key C. Alright, now let's go visit Malleus to put these key pieces back together. Key pieces. The P pieces. The P pieces. The P storm pieces. <laughs> now you're gutting it. Sake. Fails. You know, at some point, at some point, I will stop being amused by reversing consonants and, and phrases. But hey, simple stuff sometimes is the funniest. <laughs> yep. I don't think today is that day. Okay, fix item. Oh, <laughs> let's feel my technique. It's okay. I still got the line. <laughs> the broken key parts were fixed beyond recognition. <laughs> hmm. This key has a terrible energy coming from it. Please understand that I only fixed it. So that you will never have to use it. That doesn't even make any sense. Shut up. <laughs> okay. Back to the castle. Oh Back. boy, Havoc! Back to the lab again. Uh-oh, back to the lab again. Oh no, back to the lab again. That's also a bop. Time for me to make threatening dialogue happen. Uh, I forget, oh, is, no. there, is there a save point we down here? Or Yes, okay. Sure. And so we return to the basement. <laughs> the key, the key. A marvelous fun is about to break free. Won't you let yourself outside? Let's do it. The door key created a door. <laughs> Yo, dog, I heard... <laughs> Vintage! Oh, I, I aged like 20 years. <laughs> visitors, visitors, now we can play. Play! Then, after you, I can play with everyone else, too. So what are we playing, exactly? 
Oh, it's just a simple numbers game. When your HP drops to zero, you lose. So that's the kind of game you want to play, huh? Then I gotta warn you. You're dealing with a couple of sharks. <laughs> shark to shark. I wouldn't have it any other way. Now, now, let the games begin. I was always a little struck by this fact that she said you're dealing with a couple of sharks. And it just definitely, like, the tone I'm imagining is definitely like, you're dealing with a couple of sharks. And Ralsei. <laughs> I, I, sharks, I don't know, Ralsei's probably more like a whale shark. Chaos, <laughs> chaos, catch me if you can. When you want to sing Gundam style, but you forget the words. Oh no. <laughs> so how many tries is this going to take? Uh, yes. Hopefully only one or two. I mean... Yeah. I, he, get, he definitely gets more difficult toward the end, but... I, I, I think I've gotten pretty good at uh, dodging his stuff. Shall we play the ring around? Maybe not while talking, though. See, like that. Ow. Okay. Why do I have a sudden urge to, like, try to pick out relevant scout lines? Bonk! <laughs> uh, I'm yeah, running circles around yet! That was probably the let's, one. Let's heal, let's heal Chris. My hearts go out to all you sinners! Creamy nougat sinners. <laughs> Creamy nougat sinners? Yeah, like instead of centers. Haha, <laughs> let's make the devil's knife. Oh. I thought those were gonna spin around me. Well, that, that, <laughs> that, was, that was alright except the part where I sucked ass. <laughs> Oh well, no! We still, we still got enough. Uh, we still got enough HP to. These curtains are really fire. You get it? Cause, cause Don Maku means curtain fire. Huh? Okay, I'm gonna be real. I always thought it meant bullets. <laughs> I, I think, I think Don can mean yeah. Can all, yeah. I think Don just means like, you know, fire from guns in general. So it, it could mean yeah, bullet. I Peep, peep. Let's ride the carousel game. Oh, shit. Yeah, okay, this might take two tries. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Heal, see. bitch! <laughs> Get out the way. <laughs> I mean, that is sort of... That is consistent with our, with our goal here. Ooh, uh, soul. Yeah, yeah let's, let's have a Lancer cookie. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. Remember that time they, during the during the raffle where they they gave away Lancer cookies that were distinctly not edible. God. <laughs> Having fun? Join the club. I get it! But we're gonna get it all right. Oh, Jesus. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I feel like this may need to, uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's first, yeah, let's heal first of all. Because I got, like, almost almost 100% toilet paper, so... Hearts, diamonds, I can do anything! You do giraffes. Who told you about the giraffes? Oh, oh no. Oh, Ralsei's down. Why did we heal slightly? Who keeps spinning the world around? 
Well, oh. F. <laughs> it appears you have reached an end. Will you try again? Then the future. Mom didn't race a quitter. Is in your hands. Do it again. Oh, cool! It skips right to the. Uh, okay. Yep. Let's all start oh, by good. defending. Fuck. Well, at least I only got hit once there. Son of a Biatacha. Hmm. Yeah, I got nothing else to do, so might as well uh, might as well heal Susie. Let's try to graze as much as we can. Ah damn it. Graz. Keep, okay. keep in mind, in terms of your legion of, uh, in terms of your legion of hit points and all that, uh, that uh, every time you do successfully, uh, do the hypnosis thing, hypnosis, hypnosis thing, it, uh, reduces the damage. Which, I, I don't know if that's, like, similar to defense, but it's like, I guess it helps. Okay. I'm usually better at- I- I have no advice for this fight, I'm just here for moral support. <laughs> yeah, I'm usually better at dodging the carousel than I- that- that- that shameful display from the last attempt. I don't know what the fuck I was doing there. <laughs> the streamer's curse. Yep. <laughs> You're good at the game until people see you playing it. <laughs> Yeah. You're, you're good at the game until you get hit once and you freak the fuck out. <laughs> Stage fright. <laughs> it's heal crisp. Yeah, let's stay near the top of the screen. So that we can graze and see the bullets coming. Okay, can't uh, can't hypnotize him yet. see how much 32 32% uh yeah that's it's, probably fine it's too big a risk so, sorry what did you say sick i was going to say that's probably fine yeah yeah maybe I, all we'd have to do is graze a couple times i think yeah like once oh except it's this attack we are already there just don't get hit holy shit ah well, it was close enough. It was a good try. <laughs> Man. You kids are really keeping up. Oh. Then here comes this version of the carousel, which is slightly harder to dodge, but... Woo! Oh my god! How did I do that? <laughs> but the power of not believing in yourself... <laughs> <laughs> I've never had such fun. Fun. Oh, and then here comes this cluster. Oh my god. Clusterphobia. <laughs> uh, yeah. A beauty is joying in my heart. Yeah, sorry, I don't have too much to say here. Well, Hip yeah. Hypnotizing is better than not hypnotizing. That's all. Even, oh, God. Even Devil's Knife is smiling. Oh, my God. Yeah, I think you need a revivement here. Uh, yeah, revivement's probably... Yeah, I could just heal, but yeah, revivement's probably the way to go. Okay. All maxed out. It's all too much fun. Whoa. It's 
spicy. <laughs> It's so exciting. I can't take it. Oh, now it's super Gangnam style. Ah, oh, I'm just one percent short of being able to being able to hypnotize would, him again. I would ah. just do do the biggie heels. Yeah, let's break out the top cake. Maybe. I forget, does, does does Top Chef do anything if you bring it back to him? I, I feel like he does! Yeah, probably. Mm, yeah, let's save it then. Oh, oh, we have a club sandwich. Good. Maybe I should have bought more of those. This is it, boys and girls! See ya! Alright. All I have to do is survive this and uh, that his next big attack, and then we're home free. Whew! Okay, hypnotizing is better than not hypnotizing. Unless we die. Enough! You kids tired me up. Oh. Well then. It's a good opportunity to, uh, okay. Kidding! Here's my final chaos! I'm all... Okay, I think th this one's a little easier to dodge than uh, the last one. Until it's not. Holy fuck. In fact, there is actually a tutorial thing. I think it's only available after you unlock the town, after chapter one. But they explain to you that the larger a bullet is in this game, the less damage it does. Wow, really? <laughs> yeah. Oh no, my... That... Oh and my that... god. And that's brought up in every, like, major boss fight, basically. A chaos, chaos. Fucking chaos amazing. control! Shit. It's okay, you saved enough for hypnosis. Yeah, but b both, my, both my allies are down. Yeah, that's fair. You got another mint? Yeah, I guess let's revive Rolse since then he can revive Susie. This body cannot be killed. I'm not trying to kill you. Oh, great, it's this one. Well, that was a. There's probably gonna be a bullet that's like a pixel, a pixel large, and it just kills you instantly. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. Top cake time. Oh. Uh... These oh, there goes, there goes that side quest. I think you can still do it, actually. It's just slightly more tedious. You can make the cake again? Yeah. I can do anything. Come on, right? Really? Again? Oh, good. Let's get him. Let's get his ass. Yiddy's ass! See, what did yeah. I tell you? Two attempts. <laughs> we, we, and we only had to exhaust our entire inventory to do it. What fun! I'm exhausted. You kids tired me up. Now I will sleep for the other hundred years. Unfortunately, you kids cannot have such a pleasant dream. From now, a nightmare will awaken in your hearts. In the shadow of the knight's hand. Lightners, can you stop it? <laughs> Either way, a mischief mischief, a chaos chaos. Lightners, from inside your little cell. Take this and do your strongest. You got the shadow crystal. I feel like the, the the bit about the Shadow Crystal wasn't added until uh, Chapter 2 dropped. I think that's correct. Devil's Tail. <laughs> yeah, and they, they tried to hand wave it away by saying, like, oh, it's invisible, so you can't see it. Oh. I mean, I guess that makes sense. <laughs> uh, right, and I think Shum says something if you visit him after defeating Jevil, so... Let's do that before we head on to King. 
We also got equipment. Oh, right, yes. The uh, Javel's Tail. Hmm. I feel like that might be best on... Uh... Hmm. Let's see. Let's give it to Susie. She's got the lowest defense right now. Nice. F figured I'd grow one someday. Okay, uh, right, the field. We should definitely just buy so many club sandwiches. Yeah. Oh, it heals all three party members because there are three lobes. Oh, mm. oh, 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 I, I get it now. He was a funny little man. Once the court jester, I the court magician... A friend? Could I consider him a friend? Perhaps. Perhaps not. But he was the only one who mashed me on the games we used to play. One day he met a strange someone, and since then he began to change. Mike. He started saying bizarre things that didn't completely make sense. It didn't completely not make sense either. Soon he began to see the world as a game, and everyone as its participants. As the court mage and his only companion, I was forced to lock him away. Or rather, lock us all away, in his own words. Since that time, the strange words he said have stuck inside my cotton. My view of this world has become darker yet darker. The darkness keeps growing. Reflecting on these old memories, I think, perhaps, I miss playing games with him. I wonder, if I, had, if I hadn't been asked to lock him up, but I found a little more purpose in my life. Hmm. Wonder why it's still yellow. Hmm. Oh well, we won. You defeated him? You really defeated him? I see. Perhaps you three may truly be heroes after all. But Jevil was just a taste of what you'll face from now on. One day soon, you too will begin to realize the futility of your actions. <laughs> At that time, feel free to come back here. I'll make you tea. And we can toast to the end of the world. Well, aren't you a charmer? <laughs> Alright, I think... Yeah, we'll come back to it. You think what? I was about to say, I think the broken cake is still there. Not in your inventory, oh. I mean, like, in, where you first get it, I mean. Oh. Oh, right, right, yeah, I think... Right, when we, uh, when we took it, it didn't... It didn't, like, disappear from the, the screen. Mm -hmm. Where is it, though? Yeah, I think it's way, way back. Mm. Oh, Top Chef, where are you? Because, yeah, I don't want to leave this dark world without it. No, fuck out of here, Rudin. There it is. Not very Rudin. <laughs> Mamma Meba! Mamma Meba! Yeah, so? Want me to spit it back out? No, that's a quite fine. You sure? I'd probably just make it better. <laughs> Well, I don't know. Maybe. F. Yeah, I mean, we, we used it for a good cause. We're basically sallying forth then, huh? Yep. Just uh, stock up on club sandwiches first. That's good to join the club. <laughs> right, the bake sale. Uh, uh -oh. How is my inventory looking right now, anyway? 
Oh, it looks all right. I think I could probably get like four or five. Oh. Hmm? Oh, I guess club sandwiches aren't sold at the bake sale. What the hell? Rules card. Oh, rules card. Yes. Yes. Okay. Castle time, then. Castle time. Castlevania. Chevy out to whip all these candles. Castlevania. Whips are gonna crack in your ass. <laughs> God. Did you ever... Did you hear, like, the finalized version of that one? Oh, yeah. I, th I think I got the words from the two versions mixed up, actually. Because right, oh, goodness. It, yeah, the... the Right, the the line in the the final version was Castlevania, that's the name of Dracula's castle. Right. Uh, four, one. Oh, wait. Shit, where's what's the elevator to the other what what the hell? You might just oh, have to Oh this oh. way. This way, yeah. Oh, that do it. Okay. Woo! Oh, for some reason my mic was on mute the entire time. But yeah, I was gonna say, Castlevania. <sighs> Dracula, you need to think of a better name for your castle. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, right, yes, the shop. Shop. Oh. They're not here either. Oh, well. Oh, wait. Oh, well. My bad. F. <laughs> All right. On we go to finish chapter one. Enough, worms. Thou may have cheated it through mine puzzles, but in combat thou shalt be scattered about. Come, knaves, prepare it for battle with whatever this is. Uh, it's the enemy from earlier, but its crown looks different. It looks the same. <laughs> yes, with my control crown. I may control any disc shaped life form. Oh no! It looks like it's in pain! It looks the same! <laughs> yes, the control crown is pain. But I'm certain this creature will feel it relief when it sees how much more pain thou'll be in. Here it comes, uh, again. Susie's idea. Susie, you want to act? What's your idea? Uh, well, how do I say this? I kind of need you for this one. That's fine, Susie. I'll help. You want to apologize it for earlier, right? Nah, I just need you to stay still. <laughs> huh? Chris, we gotta get that crown off its head. Help me throw Rosse at it. Whoa, whoa, hold, hold it there, buddy! Big Stompy. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Sparkle. Oh. This is very anticlimactic after every yeah. single <laughs> shovel. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, because I forgot you fight K-Round twice, so I thought King was going to be right after... Yeah. I thought King was going to be next. Well, well, don't worry, he's next after this. Why, brilliant, just brilliant. I knew you couldst do it, thou great heroes, thou. Thou seest that was merely the friendly test of thine abilities. But thou hast won, and now nothing cuts thine path. I 
silly. Could not be less of an obstruction. Uh, but you. Luck be with you, heroes. <laughs> Oh, yes, man. that screech that screeching noise was was fully diegetic. <laughs> yeah, that, fully this, diegetic screeching. It's a disturbing parallel to uh, the 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 you know Asgore's reveal scene from from Undertale. Yeah. Oh, no. All right, here goes. Hey, there's Lancer. My boy. <laughs> and that single stray pixel. Father. Lancer, my son. Have you dispatched the likeness as I commanded? <laughs> no, but I did even better. Turns out we don't actually have to fight them. They said they could just talk to you and... They're alive. Yes, and I think you'll like them a lot. There's Susie, she's very purple and strong, and... Where are they now? Um... Hey. <laughs> it's nice to meet you! Lancer. Lancer, my son. Y yes father Do you remember what I told you? Don't get too attached. You have failed. They have poisoned you with their sentimentality. For yourself, Lancer, they care not for you. Their only goal is to destroy our glorious fountain. They are... Scum. No, they aren't. What did you say? Let him go. <laughs> uh, uh. You want me to let him go? Then how about this? I'll drop him off the edge and let him splatter. Hey, Hachimishima moment. Jesus. Unless you all kneel and learn your place. What will it be, Lightners? Don't listen to him, Susie. He'll... he'll... Now watch, Lancer. See what happens when you befriend Lightners. What the? You, you traitor! Come back here! All right, enough already. Who the hell do you think you are? Row, row, fight the power. <laughs> to my people, I am a hero. To you. I'm the bad guy. Snooping as usual, I see. <laughs> God. Damn it. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> I'm oh, sorry. I can't. I can't watch this scene without thinking of Deltarune repainted anymore. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like I, I think I also mentioned it. Like, um, <laughs> like uh, during that like one time when like uh, the uh, okay, like the other last part, the other last recording session when like um. Uh, basically, Ralsei's reveal was just that Koichi pose. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> you tried and to reason with Delta the Rune repainted. And I, and like, I keep, and like, I wonder if there's ever a part two they're gonna continue of just making Ralsei Koichi. <laughs> what the 
No. Silence, Lightbringer. Man, I wonder what they're going to do with Spamton if they do Chapter 2. <laughs> hey, every... <laughs> your very existence goes against our own. By the knight's will, I will shatter your heart to pieces. Your will is changing. Talk became courage. How dare you come here, Lightners? Ow. Oh, defense boost. Susie tried to reason with the king. All right, listen up. Lance is my friend. So if we can get by without hurting you, then... If I perish, so be it. Show my son the monster you really are. All right. You want to see what I can do, huh? Talk became Red Buster. You that left us in the shadows, stripped of meaning. Yeah, this is easy peasy after dealing with Jevil. Yeah. It really is. You might not realize it, but. This is a world where you don't have to fight. I know if we can try, we can all find another way. Such simple minded planet coots. A shame you will not have lived to realize your naivety. Now perish with the pathetic lightners you worship. Uh, sorry, my friends and I aren't going anywhere. Dual heal. You dare return to torment us once again? <laughs> Red damage. Yeah, I guess uh, let's just go with the tried and true strategy <laughs> of spare repeatedly until he is indeed spared. Hmm. I mean, hey, that's how half of Undertale's fights went. Be gone. We have found fresh purpose. Uh, I don't fully remember, but if I remember correctly, I think you actually have to hit him at least once or so. Yeah. Like, that's, that's part of the gimmick. I smell popcorn upstairs. Ah. Uh. For the night has appeared. You tried to spare King, but his name wasn't Yellow, it was King. <laughs> oh my god, you laughed like me just now. <laughs> oh no, is it contagious? <laughs> the night that pulls the fountains from the earth. Knight that pulls the fountains from the earth. Well, yeah, rehearing that bit of dialogue, I have to uh, reevaluate re the end of chapter two now. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I, I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> Me neither. Mostly because, like, like everything gets different with each installment, and it's like I don't know what Toby has planned. But I don't like what he has planned. <laughs> Only fountains whose shadows are creating a new world. Our world. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Come on, really? You're, you're gonna wait until I? You're gonna wait until I say "oh yeah" to hit me? God. Oh yeah, Mr. King. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, too. Art thou feeling it now, Mr. King? 
Do you <laughs> see now on? Do, do you see now on new purpose? So what was that again? I, I made a SpongeBob joke, and I think uh, uh, Ken said uh, said I was basically doing a rules card line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, he talks like that. He doeth. Yeah, I said shut up, rules. <laughs> oh. Soon this world shall be blanketed in darkness, and darkness shall rule it. Impossible! How could he have dodged that so easily? Nobody can dodge the Emerald Splash! <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like they've fought against a more difficult pattern before. Then you may see what it's like to live in despair. Oh, a certain bear already showed me that a couple months back. God. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> For those of you at home who watched the entirety of my Danganronpa playthrough, I'll do a little something special in November, so uh, stay tuned for that. Well, that's terrifying. <laughs> oh, boy! Well, okay, I, I say special, but it's really the logical conclusion. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, enough talk! I've had you! Before the, fall before the chain of justice. Hydro Storm! God damn it. <laughs> You're quite strong, aren't you? Nope. Also, just, uh, might be a good idea to use Dual Heal. Saiyan. Oh shit. Yes, thank you for pointing that out. Oh my god, I didn't realize Rolse's health was so low. If I keep fighting you like this, then... Oh god, here comes the DVD logo. Perfect. Seems that Ow. Ow. Stock sound effect from Game Maker. This is just a guy going, ow. Oh no. <laughs> My knight, I shall not fail you. <laughs> that was like that was like the Roblox oof before Roblox. Oh, no. And the robots of, like, originated in Messiah. <laughs> Who remembers that game? Oh, no. I certainly don't. Not me. Enough. Is enough. I see. I see. <laughs> I cannot defeat you. I have grown exhausted from our long battle. Lightness. I. I always found it interesting that his cape just like flies off like a butterfly. <laughs> Perhaps I. I have been too cool. The truth is, I was not always this way. There once was a time where darkness and lightness lived in harmony. A time where darkness could fulfill their purpose in peace. It would be a lie to say that I, too, do not yearn for those days. Perhaps... Perhaps you young ones are right. Please, let us put away our weapons. There must be a peaceful solution to all of this. Come now, Susie! I'm glad you're starting to realize, Mr. King. 
None of us really want to fight. If you can just tell us about your worries... I'm sure we can all be friends, Mr. King. Yes. Friends. That sounds... lovely. <laughs> my... my apologies, I am... I am not used to fighting like that. My body is getting weak. Oh! Don't say another word! I'm sure this won't bite me in the ass later! You fool! How do you feel? Let's... Let's see... <laughs> Never better! Y you Did I say you could get up? Yes. Oh, spare me the heroics. Damn. They're gonna get one hell of a road rash from that. Yeah, jeez. You... You're the leader, aren't you? So, what's your plan? To laugh as you cast us all back into obscurity? You can't even say... Young one... Let me tell you a secret. Quiet people... Piss me off. Oh, is that some reincorporation? Hey. Get away from my friend. <laughs> or what? You'll kill me? Nah. So what's your plan, then? To talk me to death? You stupid, stupid lightener. You honestly think you have any way to convince me not to kill you? Nah. But they might. Oh, shit. What, sir? Everyone? What is the meaning of this? Sorry, Dad. You're being overthrown. When I told everyone you were fighting the Lightners, everyone remembered how kind they were. They decided they'd rather have a king that accepts them. Me. Now I'm the Dad. Idiots! The Lightners are your enemies! Fools! I'll kill you! I'll kill all of you! Yikes! I think someone needs a timeout. Go to your room, Dad. No! <laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> you alright, Chris? Chris! Susie! Oh, you're alright. Yeah, it'll take more than that to take us down. Chris, Susie, I'm... I'm sorry. Because I healed the king, we almost... Mm. Susie, you're right. I... It was foolish to think we could act so soft to everyone. This isn't a world where kindness always wins, is it? It's complicated. Yeah, and some how? Yeah, sometimes there's people you just gotta fight. But if you never let your guard down, then... You might just hurt someone you care about. <laughs> <laughs> 
Or you'll turn into Goblin Slayer. Or you'll get the worst ending for Chapter 1. Aw, Susie! You're beginning to sound like a real hero! Eh, don't get used to it. Then I... I suppose you and Chris should return her home now. Yeah, I... I guess that's right, huh? Well, uh... See ya. No. We have to go back. Chris, you wanna... You wanna go say goodbye to everyone, don't you? Eh, well, if you're gonna make me... I guess we can go back for a bit. Let's go. Chris? Susie? You came back? Uh, well... Chris just wanted to say bye, you know? Oh! A actually! Everyone here wanted to say goodbye, too! Please let me know when you leave, alright? Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to skip ya. <clears throat> Way to go, kids. Now we can go back to making puzzles we love. Life's got no tutorial, so try your best. Best! You're the best! Honestly, we owe you. You're absolutely amazing. B great Bork. They spell boob. <laughs> oh! Oh my god! I... Yeah. <laughs> Shit, I forget who voiced this guy. <laughs> I, I think I did. Mm. Thank you. I can go back to being a coat hanger now. By the by, I asked Sean to come here, but there wasn't any interest. Even a little ball can say something like "thank you." He's got full bars. Oh, they're, they're Here's that pixel. Can you talk to it? Nope. Wait. Oh no. <laughs> the one pixel. <laughs> yeah, and apparently for the the Delta in Chapter One stream, he added another one. <laughs> Darn, Horsey, you've done us a big help. Now all of whose pieces can live in pieces. forget who voiced this one. I think it was Gan. You did it! You ousted that rotten tyrant! This is probably not the same voice I did, but whatever. I'll happily accept a bounty of credit for my contributions. Unless the king reappears, in which case, I did nothing. <laughs> Wonderful work, mine amigos. Thou hast topples to the tyrant. Freed's our creeds. Truly, if history shall not forget. The tale of rules card and the three heroes. <laughs> I knew you could do it. Though I was your enemy, I was cheering for you. That's how much I dislike my job. The future looks sweet. Like a pile of bees puke. Which is honey, I think. <laughs> a kingdom with so much hope. Hope you don't screw it up. That means thank you. <laughs> Come to our next B-Day, too. We'll have one soon! If that's possible. Happy looked at you proudly. <laughs> What's going on? I slept through everything. What ho? What about us? Aren't we going to be restored as kings? Ah, uh, my treasure is unharmed? Carry on, then. Uh, 
Us animals decide it's okay if the kings stay in the cages as well. But they'll have to put on animal ears and noses. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I'll be honest, at first we weren't sure what to make of our new king. Oh, who to make our new king. I mean, Lancer has always been a bit of a pain. But after seeing how nice he treats you guys, I think he'll be fine. Mamma Miba, what a celebration! This calls for a cake! And this time I'll make it out of metal so animals can't eat it! <clears throat> Thinking emoji. <laughs> because Cause... you rescued it, it grew to respect you. <laughs> well, actually, maybe it shrunk to respect you. <laughs> God. Susie, blue person whose name I neglected to learn all along. I thought you were going home ways. We were, but Chris wanted to say bye, you know. Oh, really? <laughs> That's funny. I thought you wanted to say bye because we're friends. Uh, I, I, I mean, I didn't not want to. So, you're the king now, huh? Yes, and I'm changing some big rules. First, lighteners are now legal. Second, prison now prison is now only for dads. Sounds like some pretty good changes. Hey, your dad was uh protecting the fountain, right? Is it gonna be okay if we mess with it? I have no idea. But it's you guys, so I trust you. If something bad happens, we'll fix it out. Yeah, guess we'll just see, I guess. Ah, uh, well, see you later. Come back soon. There's always room in town for a couple of clowns. Hey, Chris, we should tell Rossi about that whole abolishing the prison system thing. Hmm. Yeah, sounds like a good idea. Yeah. I mean, what kind of barbaric country would still use a prism system that doesn't even work? Chris? Susie? Are you leaving? Hell if I know, I'm just following Chris. Guess we'll just have to... Uh, we'll just walk to the right if we are. Well, oh, uh, they, they let all the people out of the cages, see ya! <laughs> <laughs> Susie, Chris, are you going to leave? Um, I, I... I just wanted to say, I... I... I really enjoyed meeting you two, and... Hey, could you stop mumbling into your hat for a sec? I can barely hear you, dude. Oh, I'm sorry. Goat boy. Um, Chris, Susie, I'm... I'm white. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I, I hope I can see you again soon. <laughs> were, we supposed to, were we supposed to assume he was black? <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, I'm just now remembering Ballad Wonderworld, like, had a twist exactly like that. <laughs> oh. And it's kind of oof. Oh, God. <laughs> Next time, I'll make you lots of yummy cakes, alright? Uh, yeah, sure, dude. <laughs> oh, no, he's hot. Let's go, Chris. Let's get the fuck out of here. Make, making that Mario uh, teaches typing plain <laughs> sound. Is this the fountain? Don't know how, but. It feels like we sh 
stumbled into something really important, didn't we? And I'm getting some major Chrono Trigger vibes from this, like, oh, this, yeah. this whole scene. Yeah. It sure is a good thing I don't have photosensitive epilepsy. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's fair. Well, there's no time to think about that now. Right now. It's time to go home. All right, Chris? As you stood in front of the fountain, you felt something strange. It was as if your very soul was glowing. Oh, yeah! Raw. Oh, yeah. Absolutely raw. Yeah, there was there was no devil to hit me while I was saying that. <laughs> what, what what happened? I can't see anything. Insert sound effects here. Choo! Hey, watch it! <laughs> what the dog doing? Huh? The unused classroom. How'd we get here? Hey, Chris. What? What just happened? Like, that wasn't a dream or anything, was it? Anyway. As I was saying, let's just tell Alphys we couldn't find any chalk. Bold of you to assume oh, anyone's still uh, here. I, I fucking forgot the voice I was doing for her. And everyone else for that matter. Oh, Alphys? Yeah. It, chances are I'll probably remember it. It's a yellowed, poorly drawn picture of Bold and Brash. a light switch that's not right near the door for some reason. Oh. <laughs> that's haunted. Oh, hey, Sean. <laughs> and the sun's already setting. Everyone else must have gone home by now. I guess Alphys will know better than to ask us next time, huh? Well, guess we should go. See you later, I guess. Chris. Let's go back there tomorrow, all right? Okay, we'll go there next year. <clears throat> oh no! Uh, how's 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 twenty twenty one sound for you? <laughs> Wait, what year is it? Two thousand eighteen. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> yep. October thirty first, twenty eighteen. The day that. Undertale changed forever. Yep. I guess. And yeah, this this whole sequence is pretty lengthy, so you know, I, I won't blame you guys if you don't have time for it. So, Gan and Stick both had to head out, but, you know, we kind of talked about it, and uh, they, they both agreed it. You know, I could make this work. I could make, I could make it work to uh, solo the epilogue. Could be thematically appropriate, since, you know, Chris is alone once they're back in the light world. So... That's what I'm doing. C Chris? Whatever, whatever have you been doing? I sat in the car waiting for you after... I sat in the car waiting for you after school for half an hour. I called and called, but you never picked up. You had your poor mother worried sick. Chris, I'm afraid I'm going to have to punish you. Huh? A friend? 
You're spending time with a friend? Chris, I will make an exception this time. You can continue your adventures a little longer. But when you return home, you're going to have to go to bed early. See you soon, honey. All right. So now, let's explore hometown. First, we go to the library. All right. So Gen's not around to voice Birdly right now. So I'm kind of have I'm gonna kind of have to make do. Uh, yeah. I had a voice in mind for Birdly, but <laughs> I, I think I think it was. I think it was funnier when Gen went full IR baboon on him. Chris, you survived Susie. I was getting worried. Now you can finally pay off your family debt. How to draw dragons is twenty <laughs> is two thousand five hundred eighty three days overdue. However, Chris, I'm a benevolent volunteer assistant. If you turn it in this week, I reduce your fine to a mere sixty-four twenty-three. Consider it, Chris. Chris, what's up? Caddy's working, so I'm starting on our project. I've already copied a bunch of pictures. It's the same picture of a soccer ball <laughs> seventy-three times. <laughs> Gotta go to college, so Tem stubby hard. She's reading a comic full of hot demon guys. <laughs> I love reading books, especially the books upstairs. You should really read them. You look through the window at the computer lab. There seems to be a dog inside working at a computer. Seems like it's making a game. Seems like you shouldn't interrupt it. Seems like when the game's finished, you can go in. You just have to trust the dog. Foreshadowing. Hey, punk! Get out of the road! You're blocking traffic! Oh, wait. It's just Asgore's kid. Sorry, I'm a little, uh, worked up lately. This job is so boring, nothing ever happens in this town. <laughs> I just wish something would shake things up. Huh? You got something to report? What? There's a dark world inside the school? Uh, sure, kid. There's no law against dark worlds anyway. That's a job for the school board. Alphys? Who's Alphys? No idea who you're talking about. Why, did they do something illegal? Gotcha. If I see Alphys, I'll tackle him. <laughs> They're as good as dead. Ah, uh, you want to help me? Sure, punk. Get someone to rob the bank so I can suplex them. Wait, do we even have a bank? Hey, get someone to build a bank. <laughs> How am I supposed to get past this blue lady? I'm stuck. I guess I should just run away. Oh, it's you. Are you here to play the piano again? The patients can't hear it well from here, but I personally enjoy it. It's an obligatory hospital piano shrunk to fit in the corner. <laughs> As a result, it's missing most of the good keys. Play it? Hell yeah. It's one of those sliding bead toys that naturally spawns inside doctor's offices. <laughs> the beads march grimly along their set path. <laughs> Dad, I can't just say that to her. Oh my god, I'd die. I'd literally die. Noelle, sweetheart, first time I laid eyes on your mother, I walked right up and told her she was a hot piece of work. R really? Yeah, she slapped me so hard I blacked out. <laughs> Dad, that doesn't help at all. Anyhow, how's Dragon Blazers 3? Beat it yet? Nah, I'm still at the Ice Palace. I've been kind of... kind of waiting to finish it with you, Dad. Noel, maybe... 
Maybe you shouldn't wait. Dad? You should bring it here. I'm bored as hell. <laughs> Fine, you win. I'll bring it next time. Oh, it's getting late. Guess I'd better go. I've got homework. Oh, that's the group project voice. Bird guy again? What's his name? Nerdly? It's, um, Birdly. He's not that bad, Dad. I'll kick his ass. <laughs> Dad, you're not even supposed to get up. Bring him by the window. I'll throw something at him. Goodbye, Dad. <laughs> Bye, honey. Oh, hi, Chris. Well, jingle my gosh darn bells. Looks like Christmas came early. All right, Chris. Just give me the straight shot. Why are you here? Did your mom make you come here? Really? You've grown up a lot, Chris. I'm proud of you. It wasn't too long ago you were just the creepy kid next door. Now you're the creepy kid right in front of me. <laughs> okay, okay, seriously. You want to chat or something? So why am I in here? Well, they found some crap, so it's just some tests. Yeah, it's no big deal. Nothing a holiday can't handle. I'll be out of here in a jiff. Then I can go back to, I don't know, yelling at you for getting tangled in our light display. Don't worry, there's no way you can bore me right now. Chris, even if we've grown apart, we still love your family. After all, me and Asgore were college pals, right? Oh, hey, now that Asriel's off to college, you think he's doing any crazy parties like me and your dad? <laughs> I'm just pulling your leg. Your dad was no party animal. Your mother, on the other hand, woo! She'd always fuss about going, but once the party started... Yikes, man. Once she hit me clear across the room with a key lime pie, I had smashed into the snack table and toppled everything. Tasty pie, though. Couldn't complain. She's a sweetheart, isn't she, Chris? Smart, kind, sweet. Couldn't ask for a better daughter. I just wish she wasn't so defenseless. Scary movies, bugs, Santa Claus, everything scares her. When it happens, she freezes like a deer in headlights. Remember she used to even be afraid of humans under the bed? Chris, it was not nice of you to hide under there, by the way. Anyhow, that's what's tough about being in here, Chris. Not what's going on with me. Just that, in the meantime, I can't be there to protect her. Keep an eye out for her, okay? Wait, I think, I think he says something if you examine the flowers. It's a bunch of roses in a glass container. Hey, I'm happy your dad brought me these flowers, but... Roses? What is this, man? Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> that ain't gonna work, man. We're both beasts. <laughs> This castle's white wizards relegated me to this healing chamber. But my blood is boiling for battle. It's a classic 1 to 10 pain scale using Icy as a model. <laughs> At 0 pain, he's happy. At 10 pain, he's happy and sweating. You knocked on the door to the police station. Someone's coming up to the window. <clears throat> they just closed the blinds. Uh, wait, is there anything this way? No, there is not. Alright. Oh, what's down here, actually? Chris, what a pleasant surprise to see you here. And on a school day. There must be a reason that you came here at such a time. I, Father Alvin, implore you. If you have anything weighing on your mind, please speak. Chris, if you want some of our sick fruit juice, you should come to our service. Our choir sounds a bit thinner since your brother went away. Chris, it would be wonderful if you could sing with us. Or even participate it to any extent, instead of just trying to drink the fruit juice. Hey, short stuff. What? 
Why would you possibly need to talk to the mayor? Your allowance too low? Ate too much candies? Lost your frisbee in the wash? Hey, short stuff. That's what the cops are for. The mayor's charisma is about zero. No, it's negative. But she works hard and has a great track record, so she runs unopposed. That's politics. Rarely. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The mayor is currently busy right now. If you need to see her, please try causing some terrible crisis. It's over here. Oh, oh, no music. No music, so creepy. So creepy noise is locked. Oh. Oh. Hey guys, I'm back. What's up? What what voice? I wasn't doing a voice. What are you talking about? Gerson, renowned historian, author, and teacher. Damn. Gerson Boom Memorial Bench. Throughout my career, some of my best ideas came from dreams. Take a rest here. If anyone asks, you're writing. Crystal, a snowy gemstone for a proud mother. Butler, big bone for the leader of the pack. Shira, karaoke microphone for a brave singer. All right. Let's go uptown now. Ice me up! Ice me up, boss! You're alive. Nice. I'm working. Uh, we'll take the special end. Do you have any edible glitter? The youngest one won't eat anything if it doesn't look like treasure. So, for you two girls, that'll be the crepes, a cinnamon latte, Two bunny parfaits and a piece of firewood. I like the vibe of the waitresses here. Maybe I should sign up too. Nah, serving drinks wouldn't really suit a fire elemental. If I got nervous, I'd just melt all the ice. Ice Wolf does not like ice and drink. Ice Wolf likes ice to be drink. Looking at my rugged body, you must wonder what kind of secrets I hold. My secret is, I put all my leftover pancakes in this giant hat. I just realized this mole, that my voice for this mole sounds too much like my Lancer voice. Hey there. Haven't seen you in a while, hon. I remember back on Sundays after Soivis, you and your family would come in and order this special. Of course, things happen and then y'all stopped coming together. But every Sunday, you and your brother would still come in. He'd order you a hot chocolate, and you two'd sit down at that table in the corner, drink it, drawing shapes in the window with your breath. You must really miss him, huh? Here, how about this? You got the hot chocolate. On the house, hon. Would you be interested in trying some of our many 24 pizza, p p pizza flavors? We've got normal, cheese, ice, gravy, double ice, pepperonis, and more. Stop on down at Icy's Pizza. Oh god, someone's actually here. Uh, Icy's Pizza. Pizza, your number one spot for piping hot piece of pizza. H hey, hey, wait a second. I recognize you. Little buddy, it's me. Want to chat for a minute before I lose my mind? You know when Azzy's coming home? Y you can't tell him this, but I really miss the guy. It'd be sweet to cruise around town like the old times. Picking up, for example, chicks. Which, as a matter of course, 
may have never actually happened. But one time Undyne made eye contact with me. While she was writing me a speeding ticket. Ah, yes, little buddy, good idea. Meet the rogues gallery. Blue ears, soft serve obsessed. No concept of personal space. Keeps accidentally pouring slushies on me and giggling. The warrior, thankfully absent due to pizza-related injuries. Constantly terrorizing customers with war chants. Purple guy. Man, that guy. He gotta... Actually, does that guy even work here? Uh, my co-workers, where would I be without them? A happy place, little buddy. A much happier place. Make no mistake, little buddy. Icy's Pizza is hell. I can't slack off for seconds without hearing. Be a team player, there's no I in Pizza. Yes, there is, you just took it out. But it's okay, little buddy. I've been saving up to go to college where Azzy is. Then I'll get a theater degree, become a famous actor, and let the fangirls roll in, little buddy. <laughs> the entrance is locked. No one's inside. Seems like all the employees are out and outside in costume. <laughs> all right. All right, fine. Hey, Luke is walking around. How are you, kid? Hmm. You know, good question. I'm Sans, your friendly neighborhood skeleton. What's up? We just moved here, so I hardly know anyone. Why, got anyone I should know better? Your mother, huh? Too late. I already befriended your mom last night. She's great. Came to the store to buy chocolate kisses. Said she's got to lock her door to stop you from eating them. <laughs> Sound like a fun kid, huh? Alphys, yeah, I know about her. Came into the store with a suitcase and sunglasses. Thought she was part of the mob. She opened the case and stuffed it full of instant noodles. Paid in small bills. And slunk out of the place. Pajamas trailing on the floor. Anyway, our relationship is, uh, purely business. So, uh, guess I'll let her do her thing. Whoa there, Tiger. You can't just jump straight into friendship. It takes time. Alright, that's enough time. Take this. Call it whenever you feel like. Behind me? Yeah, that's the grocery store. Unfortunately, it's closed. What a pain. I really wanted to buy some milk. So I'm not a complain to the guy who runs it. <laughs> Alright. Let's call Sans's number. Hello. You've reached the hotline for idiot babies. Please press 1 for idiots, 2 for babies, 3 for idiot babies, or 4 for none. Yeah, I'm an idiot baby. Ah, you're an idiot baby? To tell you the truth, I'm one too. Let's try our best, okay? <laughs> hey bud, you busy tomorrow? I need some help with something. Be great if you could come over. I live just next door, you know. Wow, you answered quickly, huh? It's not good, I'm a total stranger. Should probably hesitate more. Well, guess I shouldn't complain. Huh? What are we gonna be doing? Oh, I'm not gonna be there. That'd be weird. It's just gonna be you and my little brother. He needs friends. Thanks for hanging out with him. See ya. No response, but the distant trousel of bones. Dude, are you the human that lives at the top of town? Wow, my mommy told me about you. Does it hurt to be made of blood? Huh, that sounds like the knock of a beginner. Come back when you've gotten better at knocking. Yo, Chris, you survived Susie, haha! <laughs> 
I mean, I never saw her beat anyone up, but, uh, I'd be careful. Like, one time me, Snowy, and Jockington were playing handball, and she just kept creepily watching us from the corner. Then, when the ball rolled over to her, she just, uh, froze solid. And kicked the ball as hard as she could right into Officer Undyne's car. Then, Undyne came out smiling and cracked her knuckles and totally whipped us at handball. Anyway, Susie sucks, Chris. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you're lucky, Chris. You got to miss class with Alphys. It's not fair. <laughs> if I skipped class, my dad would never let me hear the end of it. <laughs> That's actually not even remotely funny. Oi, Snowy, what did I tell you about knocking on the door so hard? Don't do it. It's really gonna hurt your face. We don't have arms, you know. Oh, Chris. Chris, you're okay. I... I was really worried when you didn't come back. Where'd you go? Did you skip class? Well, don't worry about it. I'm the cool teacher, you know. You're not in trouble. Well, let me know if you need anything. It's a saucer of milk. Uh, oh... Chris, did you want to talk about something? Oh, this saucer of milk? It's for my kitty, Mew Mew. She's a perfect angel. Uh, what does she look like? Well, I've never actually seen her, but... Ever since I started putting out milk, it's been disappearing. So I'd like to think there's a cat. My cat. Chris, even though you never got the chalk, you deserve an award for trying so hard to find it. So, in return, I can let you borrow um, my homemade DVD collection of The Symptons. You know, the sitcom about the middle-class monster family? It's got every episode in all 28 seasons. It's the funniest, most quotable show ever. But make sure you don't watch past the second season since they just rebooted it as... Yeah, I can't read all that. <laughs> <laughs> huh? You don't want to watch it? That's okay, Chris. Uh, oh, these flowers? They're from your dad. He, he always asks how you're doing in school. Then gives me a bouquet of them. Uh, actually, that he always gives me flowers really makes me wonder if he likes... If... if he likes the awesome comics I lent to him. Honestly, he kind of reminds me of a superhero, Chris. He's huge and could kick my ass. Well, Chrissy, like, what's up? Give that catty a hug. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Ha ha ha. Not even actually your aunt. Oh my god, can I talk to you about something? Actually, like, anything though, your choice. Uh, how's Caddy doing? I have no idea. We like, totally can't connect at all. Yesterday, I asked if she wanted to hear me play the ukulele. She said no, and then she like, told me my playing is an anti-blessing from planet hell. What the heck, Chrissy? That's so cute. I love my fricked up little sis. Oh my god, Asriel. Like, what a cutie pie. Do you remember when me and him went to the dance? That was like the best night ever. Even though I spilled the entire punch bowl all over him <laughs> and danced inappropriately in front of your mom. <laughs> Got arrested in the parking lot for making a scene. <laughs> that was so much fun. Tell him I said hi. Like that green girl next door? Oh my god, Chrissy. She's like my life villain. Like the other day I went to see Cat Petters 2. And the only other person in the theater was her. Then I went to QC's and ordered a Cat Pacino. 
and she like was already drinking one. She's such a copycat, a copygator, copysaurus, co copodile. I don't know. She sucks. Hey, neighbor, baby. When's your brother Doug gonna come by? <laughs> My girls would love to see him. He's a sweet little man. He's just got one problem. He doesn't like my wife's cooking. What's wrong, Douglas? You don't like frozen cat food? <laughs> oh, hi, Chris. Did you need help with your homework again? I know you were having trouble last time, so um, I actually got a few things ready for you in case... Uh, wait, sorry, I can't right now. I forgot my house key again, and... Sorry, Chris, I'll help you later, if that's okay. See you at school, Chris. Um, Chris? Did you want to talk about something? Um, Chris, are you feeling alright? Normally you're not so talkative. Oh, I don't mean to sound like something's wrong with you. Um... Chris, is something, is something wrong? Why'd you go to the hospital to see my dad? I mean, I'm sure he appreciated it, but, um... Gosh, I'm sorry, Chris. Forget I said anything. Huh? Why don't I ask my mom for the key? I, I mean, um, I, you know... She doesn't like it when I bother her while she was working. Don't worry, okay? I'll just go over to Caddy's. Susie, that's right, you were with Susie. When you didn't come back to class, I was worried, but... Everything turned out okay, I think. Um, Chris, can I ask you something if that's okay? Susie, I'm kind of curious what she's like, you know? I mean, who doesn't wonder about her? She never talks to anyone. So, Chris, could you tell me about her if that's okay? <laughs> it's shock. What, she was eating the chalk? Really? Wait, you're teasing me, aren't you, Chris? Like when you told me Icy was real and he eats kids. So Death smacked you with a wiffle bat till you stopped lying. <laughs> huh? You're telling the truth? Seriously? Um, then what color chalk does she like? And do you think she likes the thin or the thick kind? Wait, maybe she's... Maybe making your lunch bowl full of chalk is stupid. L -l lunch box full of chalk. I'm afraid no one's home right now, darling. Now, why don't you prance on home? Alright, I guess. Chrissy, like long time no see. What's up? Did you want to talk about something? Ugh, that chick next door drives me nuts. I kept seeing her everywhere I go. She's a total copycat. Like, why though? Doesn't she realize she'll never be me? Honestly, her whole family's like so trashy. Once her sister served me a coffee and I swear it was half cat fur. Like, get a hairnet, girl, for like your whole body. Remember that time you wanted to hang out with us big cads? I was like, yeah, of course, just get us some burgers. Then like, amazingly, you actually got them. So I told you to go back and get some french fries too. Then a dozen miniature cakes. They were so good, I ate like six. Then I like, suddenly got so sick I had to go home. Man. So like, anyway, Chris, are you busy? Oh, that's no way to talk to your almost sister-in-law. Nah, I'm joking, but like... Remember that time I played Truth or Dare with Azzy? I like, made him give his first- give me his first kiss. Then your mom found out he kissed someone and like... I think she basically dialed 911. I swear your family went to church like... every single day that week. <laughs> There's some kind of scratching noise coming from inside. Dum-dee-dum. Oh, is someone there? 
Just a moment. I've almost finished watering these flowers. <coughs> Here we are. Howdy, how can I... Oh, Chris! Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot you don't like hugs like that. Well now, make yourself at home, Chris. You can help yourself to anything you like. Monday. Some kind of catalog. There's a car magazine underneath. It's a flower. Say, Chris, I was thinking... Perhaps when Asriel comes home, we could all go to the diner just like old times. My treat. Doesn't that sound yummy? It's a purple flower protected in a container. Let's see if these, uh... Is any unique dialogue for any of these? Probably not. There's some dirty fur stuck in the drain. It's a door. It's locked. It's a dirty watering can. It's a rusty fridge with some photos on it. Oh, Chris, if you're hungry, help yourself to anything you want. All that's inside is a jar with a single pickle in it. You decide to pass. A photo of your mother and father on their wedding day. She's holding a bouquet of seven flowers. A reindeer-looking monster stands nearby in a tuxedo. They all look happy. Don't. It's a small TV. On top are some superhero comics. It's an air mattress. It's certainly not king-sized. Chris, do you want to sleep over? You could use that air mattress and I could, uh, use those bags of soil. Perhaps not. Yes, those flowers are still kicking. Quite hard to take care of them in this climate. It's a note. It says, no rent received. Again, stop giving away flowers. Start selling them. You have one month. Oh, Chris, before you go... Here. For your mother. Our secret. Have a great day, Chris. It's your dad's truck. The floor of the front seat is littered with old papers and country CDs. Man. Remember CDs? Remember physical media? Those were the days, man. Nothing better than hanging out the lake with my best bro, watching the waves go by. True. It's a metal picnic table. Cigarette butts lay on the ground underneath it. Stick your fingers into the holes on the table. <laughs> Your fingers don't fit through the top anymore. You try from below. Your hand became covered in cobwebs. Alright. Just gonna rest here for a bit. Sip my coffee. Oh, shit! Hey there. Noticed you were here. It's me. You know, me, right? Of course you do. I'm real popular. I just don't have any friends. But it's okay, you hear? Because you're here, you hear? Will you be my friend? Sure. Oh, I'm so happy, you hear? I'm so happy. I... I... I don't know what to do. I don't remember being this happy before. What's your name, friend? T Hippopotamus. Chris, that's you. That's a real nice name for a friend. Oh, excuse me, I forgot to introduce myself. 
actually, since no one talks to me, I forgot my own name. Chris, can you give me a name? To Azrael the second. <laughs> Disgusting! Hmm, it's perfect, you hear? I don't know what it means, but it's perfect! Hmm, feels like it's shaped like me. Feels like it smells like me. Wait, what was the name? Um, um Yum? Yeah, it's perfect. Um Yum, that's my name. Thank you for giving me a name. I'll cherish it, you hear? C Christmas? That's your name, right? I want to tell you something tomorrow. Something I can only tell a friend. Come back soon, you hear? Uh, okay, thanks. I forgot what voice I gave Onion Son in, in the Undertale playthrough. <laughs> Alright, that about does it for this street. Time to go home, I guess. It's your mom's van. wonder if there's anything behind the house. Can't go behind the house. Welcome home, honey. Did you have fun with your friend today? By the way, I just finished baking a pie. If you go to bed, it will be cool when you wake. But do not eat it all this time, all right? Chris, what is it, honey? Oh, Chris? Flowers? For your mother? How sweet. These are from him, are they not? Uh, well, worry not, Chris. I will find some place for them. Remember that video game you and Azrael used to play? What was it called? Super Smashing Fighters? When he was very little, he loved the green lizard from that. We even had a birthday party for him themed around it. Your father painted all these eggs with spots as decoration. Oh, your brother loved it. Until the next day, your father cooked them all for breakfast. Your brother just kept trying. Ever since, he's hated that book about eating green eggs. Chris, honey, you have grown up so much. Someday you'll be going off to university as well. Remember when you were little? You asked when your horns were going to grow in. So we bought that headband with the little red horns on it. Oh, you wore it for months. Whatever happened to it? Pie. Let's take a dump before we go. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's only you. Is it only me, though? If you go to bed, this chapter of your adventures will end. What the hell? Even I don't wake up that violently. Got the midnight munchies. Fingers. You ever get munchies so intense that you rip your own heart out? You rip your own heart out and then stuff it in a cage, and the heart can move. And then, you just grab a big old knife and get yourself a slice of pie. <laughs> 